coming to you from the Deep South. This is the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast. High impact leadership is not reserved for leaders, and it has nothing to do with your position, title, or rank. However, it does have everything to do with your character. It's time to climb to the next level and beyond, personally and professionally. Now, let's start making it happen with your host, Max Story. All right, let's keep going with the seven habits today, part two. We're actually talking about habit two. Last episode, uh, if you didn't get it, you got to make sure you catch these habits and they kind of go in order so that they make more sense if you've been listening to all of them. And and I'll share with you why that is later when the time's right. So habit one was be proactive. It says you're responsible. Between stimulus and response, human beings have the freedom to choose their response. Proactive people pause when something happens and choose a response based on values. So we got to have values first before it really matters. And uh, we, we need to align our values with natural laws and principles. And we can choose our actions, but not our consequences. Consequences flow from natural laws and principles. So that's some. That's just a little add-on, take you back to habit one. Habit two is begin with the end in mind. Habit one says I'm responsible. Habit two says... Now that I'm responsible, where do I want to go? Begin with the end in mind. Where do I want to be? When do I want to be there? So now, the habit one is the habit of personal vision. Habit two is the habit of personal leadership that says, I am responsible for deciding where I'm going. So I get to decide. Who am I? Where am I? A lot of people don't even really realize where they're at and who they are. So you got to do some thinking because that's important because now you got to figure out habit to begin with the end in mind. Who do I want to be? Where do I want to be? And that's what happened when I started listening to this seven habit audio over and over and over. In my book, Blue Collar Leadership, Leading from the Front Lines, it's a book about how to lead yourself well. But all of these books that I've read and have allowed me to change my life, I've taken those books and simplified it and put my own stories around it and my own thoughts and ideas. But that little book, 30 chapters, three pages per chapter, Blue Collar Leadership, Leading from the Front Lines, written for entry-level people, but it applies to everybody. That little book, I don't talk about the seven habits in there, and I don't list them out like this because it's my book. But it's all about how to live and apply these seven habits to become more valuable. Because the more valuable you become, the more successful you will become. Don't focus on success. Focus on becoming a person of value. So begin with the end in mind. Where do you want to be? See, when you say, this is where I am, this is where I want to be, there's a gap. I call that the success gap. You got to close it before you'll be successful. And then you start over again, so it's really never going to close. But in a sense, it'll closes, reopens, closes, reopens. But really, it's a moving target. But as soon as you see the gap, now because you're responsible, you got to figure out where do I want to be in the end so I can begin now getting there. That way you don't waste a lot of time doing the wrong things. Too many people are, are like a log just floating down the river. If you're not applying these seven habits, that used to be me when I worked in the blue collar workforce, I would do whatever job they wanted me to do. You know why? Because I could do it. I was very driven. I I, I was one of those people that thought I can do anything and I always did. But I would do whatever they asked me. I was the log. They could use me however they wanted to use me. And that's not a bad thing. It's a good thing to do what's expected of you. But at some point in your life, the sooner the better, you got to decide where am I going? What do I want to be? Instead of just letting everyone else determine your life. If you don't decide, society will decide for you. and You'll just end up being wherever the, the society wants you to go. So this habit, begin with the end in mind, says I'm responsible. Now I got to figure out how to get there. You with me? 
Real simple. But you got to do it. I'm going to keep this one short today. And I'll pick up on habit three tomorrow. But think about it. You're responsible. That's habit one. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to be? My son just moved to California last year. He was in Alabama. He began with the end in mind. His girlfriend graduated college. He decided he wanted to stay with her and be with her. So he had to go out there. He realized he had to make a lot of money to live in the San Francisco Bay Area. He said, Dad, I need to make about $200,000. At the time, I believe he was 25 with no college education. And he's making well above $200,000. It didn't take him but a few months. He began with the end in mind. Then he figured out how, to, how does he get there? What does he have to do? And he's been doing that since he was 19. So he was prepared to go out there, cold turkey, and make it happen. That's what the seven habits is about, helping you figure out how to make it happen. It's a step-by-step way of leading yourself. And again, a lot of my books do that. A lot of other people's books do that. But the seven habits is very simple. Now, when you read it, it ain't going to be very simple. My books are simple, 30, 30 chapters, three pages. That book's probably 400 pages. And you, you might have to get a dictionary to help you read it like I did. And uh, might make your head hurt like mine did. But it's a good, good book. It's full of nuggets. But what I try to do is I interpret a lot of complicated things and try to make them simple. Because if they're simple, everybody can understand it. It's one reason a lot of blue collar people don't get into this stuff because a lot of people who want to sound super intelligent and impress other super intelligent folks write it at a higher level. I do what John Maxwell teaches. John teaches put everything on the bottom shelf so everybody can have some. Guess what, folks? If you ain't never met me, I'm five seven. I can only reach the bottom shelf. You with me? So when I put something in a book or I talk to you about it, it's on the bottom shelf. So everybody can have some. I enjoyed it. Hope you got a nugget or two away out of it. And uh, talk to you next time. Have a great day. Make it happen or someone else will. It might as well be you. Are you serious about taking your career and your life to the next level and beyond? Check out Max Story's Blue Collar Leadership Series books and others now available on audio along with paperback and ebooks at Amazon, iTunes, and Audible. Please visit bluecollarleadership.com to learn about Max books, programs, special offers, certifications, and more. Thank you for listening to the Blue Collar Leadership Podcast.